So, food based dyes, you need four things. You need. You need five things. You need a hammer. <laughs> no, you need four things. You need a protein based a protein based fiber. So wool a sheep's wool, alpaca, silk, angora. I would not recommend any of I would only recommend wool because it's expensive to buy the other ones. So undyed sheep's wool. You need your colorant, which is the food coloring dye. And it comes in Kool-Aid. You can use Kool-Aid. We have used Kool-Aid. Liquid food coloring and bath fizzies. You need an acid, which um, vinegar. And if you use Kool-Aid, the citric acid is already in the Kool-Aid. And you need heat. So the vinegar is going to help lock the color into the fiber. And the heat is going to help set it and do its little thing. So that is what's going to happen. That's what you need when you get those four together. So uh, Supreme had a black bath bomb, did not go well. Ooh. I, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know what happened. Will it work if Supreme's concussion? No, 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 Ship. Ship. No. Yes, we mentioned that earlier, that when you dye Easter eggs, it's the same thing. Eggs are a protein base. It's a similar, it's not the same, but it's similar it's protein based, like um, egg dot, uh, eggshell and the wool. They're a protein base, and you need the vinegar, you need the heat, and you need what did I say? The dye, the dye. So you can use Easter egg, Easter egg tablets. So at the after Easter is over, and everything's marked down for almost nothing. Go out to like your local grocery store or drugstore or wherever that sells them. Buy them up when they're really cheap. And you don't, all the stuff you don't really need. The stickers and all the other things. You just need the tablets. You can use those. Uh, change glasses. All right, Dark Knight. Gosh, what was ended with? E yeah, yeah. And yes, you can do this on the stove. But this is microwave safe container. It works. So, uh, Dark Knight, do you want the gray, the tortoise shell, or the black? Because it's that's how we, when I was a kid, that's how we dyed Easter eggs. We didn't do the tablets. We would, uh, the gray. We would uh, do food coloring, liquid food coloring, and we get coffee mugs with hot water and the vinegar, because the hot water, you need the heat. You need the vinegar, so it uh same the same principle. So I like the gray. The grays are my favorites. All right, we're gonna put in. Um, not, good night, Zig Zig. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you, and uh, I will chat with you next time. Okay, so we've got two blue, two indigo, and then combos. Let's do the combos. So I'm going to put, now watch, these are going to fizz. Thank you for the stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you very, very much. So I'm going to put those there and those there. I'm going to put those there, there. And we're going to probably need, look, it's bubbling. It's doing its magic. <laughs> you know what? I've got extra tablets. Let's use them. Yes, pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Yes. So the rest of these I'm going to put back in this container and for, I think the next time I'm going to dye some, uh, some maybe some reds and oranges. So it's going to take a little while to do its thing and I'm going to move things around. So we're getting a lot of purple here, which is fine. It's actually going to be indigo. It looks darker because of the water and I'm going to push these in here. I'm going to push those down. Um, no, well, you could dye t-shirts, but you need different dyes. You definitely, you would need like a, you know, you can get a commercial dye, like a Rick dye, Rick brand. Um, that's one of the big ones. 
um, because t-shirts are a cotton polyester blend or 100% cotton and those are not um, protein based they're not animal but if you have uh, um, anything that's made out of sheep's wool alpaca silk angora those types of things those are all protein based they will work with food coloring with with food dyes you would need special commercial dyes which are can be highly oh excuse me highly uh caustic and dangerous depending on the chemicals you need face mask and respirator sometimes with all of that you need dedicated equipment so this you don't need dedicated equipment i'm perfectly okay this is all done cleaning this out and using this for food because it's just food coloring so it's it's safe um let's see thank you for the gigantic emote ship um uh, hey there alley cat welcome in welcome in we're over dyeing so we dyed this earlier now we're adding more color because i want more blues so you know what i'm gonna take that blue tablet and i'm gonna move it over here now and I want that one to go there. I could get another one. Uh, was it too sack? No, it was not too saxy. The right amount is right amount of saxiness. But uh, whatever it is in the bath fizzies, is it like a um? What is it? Because it it only it reacts with water. It doesn't really. So it's not like, um, it's not like, um, what do you call it? It's not like baking soda. A oh, baking soda and citric. Okay, yes, that's what, okay, that's what it is. Yes, so it's a base and an acid in a dry form so they don't react. But when they get wet, they dissolve and then they interact with each other. That's what it is. Yes, because you just need water. I mean, there is vinegar in here, but the vinegar is going to help set the set the color into the yarn. But yeah, so yeah, citric acid and the baking soda. So chemistry. Did anybody ever do the volcano experiment in science class when they were a kid? Um, some people actually built paper mache ones, but you basically. I had a little plastic thing. I think it was like a thing where you like. Um, from like a toy and cereal when they used to have toys or something you sent off. It's a little plastic, looked like a little volcano. It was only about that big and it had a well on the top and you put, um, vinegar in it and you put it in baking soda and it would erupt. You put food coloring. Yes. So it's same type of thing. Rite of passage. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I want to add a little more blue because I don't think there's going to be enough blue. Um... I think the green is strong enough. So I'm going to use some liquid food color again. I'm going to just put a couple dots here and there and one there. Not in class. You melted glass. Wait, what melted glass? Uh, Miss Bean Child. Hey, you know what? You can relive it. You can do this. This is kind of like being a child. This is fun. This is like... Now, the blue I added is not going to fizz because that's just liquid food coloring. But uh, I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to move that around a bit. And look, you can kind of move things. Be very careful. You don't want... Well, you don't have to be super careful. But you don't want to agitate it too much because then you get felt. So there's a lot of blue here. And I've heard with commercial dyes... Certain colors take longer to, they call it striking. The food coloring doesn't take long because it's food coloring. And what you can also do, fun one, the works toilet bowl cleaner and aluminum foil. Oh, I don't know about that. Junior year, we used the, oh, like, like Bunsen burners type thing. Um, what was I going to say? 
Oh, glass tubes. Okay, okay. I know what I know what you're talking. about. I never did that, but I know what you're talking about. Um, you can go to like I know Michael's Arts and Crafts. They have a cake decorating on decorating aisle. You can use the gel colored um, food coloring. They have a wide range of colors. So if you want specific colors. You can uh, use that also. And I think those are going to be a little more concentrated because they're a gel. So I don't have any of the gel, but that would work also. Potions, yeah, that's potions class. This is kind of like potions class. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this down. That's a pretty blue. The water is a pretty blue color. Um, I'm going to leave this in like this for a little longer. I'm probably mixing things up, but it's an ex experiment. It is an experiment. Um, uh, hey there, Clay Miko. Yeah, uh, welcome back in. So, were you, wait, you were here. I can't remember. Were you here when we did? Yeah, you were here when we did the bath visits, right? Welcome back in, Clay. Uh, don't forget the classic bleach and ammonia. No, don't, no, don't do bleach and ammonia. Don't do that one. Okay, so this is the same one. I microwaved it, let it cool. I rinsed it out. It was mostly green. It was mostly, it was a pretty green, but I wanted blue. So what I ended up doing is I put more water and vinegar in, and I added blue and indigo tablets. So we're kind of almost over dying. Not really. Well, kind of, yeah. So, I mean, we didn't thoroughly dry it. We're just we do, we're just dying again. So, it's kind of an over dye. So, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit because I want the blue. I don't know if that's going to do anything. More time is going to going to help. It couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt. But uh I think all the fizzies have fizzed. It's a really really pretty cobalt blue in the in the liquid. Don't know if that's going to translate to the to the yarn, but uh, I'm going to wash my hands. Yeah, you missed some chaos. I had to have some words with some people. <laughs> oh, and Clay Nico, Ships Lady won a, a donkey square. Ships Lady. So when we um, send off a care package, we're going to have to put in a donkey square, at least one, unless they need more. Because I still have four more to give out. Yeah, still have four to, four to give out. So, uh, so yes. Let me go wash my hands because they are very chalky. So. in. Woohoo! Woohoo! Officially no longer stream. <laughs> Not that we're counting. Um, my brain is fried from today, so I need something that's a little uh, less taxing. So we're going to go back to the knitting. Dame... Didn't even see, wait, see my counter? Wait, what? My counter. Why so long? Timer? Wait, there's a timer? 
Oh! Oh, yes! Eight hours! Oh! You didn't know what she? Wait a minute! You signed! You signed the card! <laughs> you signed- You signed my, uh, my card, didn't you? I th yeah, I think I heard your name. <laughs> yes, this is my 1K- Yes, my 1K celebration stream. <laughs> That's alright. That, oh, it's been a day. It has been a long day, and it's not over. It is not over. It's, what, 5 o'clock now? It's already- Wow. And I'm planning going on to at least- No, no 10K. <laughs> no. I'm go planning going to at least 9? So, what, 4 more hours? When 10K? No. 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 Not gonna happen. Oh, let me... Let me zoom in. So... But yes, we've made a bunch of things. We've made... Oh, Witchy! Were you here, Witchy, when we were talking about these? When we were talking about this? Witchy Weaver does cooking streams. And this one... I know your your kids are older; they're not real little, but um, this is something that you can even do with with your with your kids. And uh, if if you like peanut butter, or you can use other uh, substitutes, you don't have to use peanut butter. So if anybody's allergic, and uh, super easy to make, non cooking. They look a little weird because they've been sitting out. It's not. There's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. So it's not gonna like go bad. I'm looking at you. I am looking at you right now. Clay Miko. Clay Miko. Thank you for the gift sub to Practical Porsche, to the Blue Geezer, E Love Art, Moco Made. Oh, you get one to Moco Made. Coat cake fibers, Becca Lane. Um, to gift sob, to charred bean, to binge bear, to pocket Roddy, and Suzanne, Suzanne, Susan, um, I'm not going to get smacked this time. Is that why you needed to go home? Is that why you needed to go home? <sighs> anyway, yes, they're like no bake cookies, so I will put the, the rest in the Discord with all the proportions, but it is um, peanut butter, butter, graham cracker crumbs, and um, powdered sugar. And if you can't do peanut butter or butter, you can do substitutes for sure. Don't I heard sugar-free peanut butter does not work because it's too. gooey? And then whatever type of topping. So I did shredded coconut and chopped peanuts, but you can do any other types of, to of toppings. So anything you would put on like ice cream would kind of work. M and M's don't really work because they don't really stick. They fall. They come right off. Um, cut the crackers for coconut flour. Um, you can do other types of. You want the you want the the graham crackers for give it body and some substance. So you want something, so if you can find something like a cookie or like that type of thing that is based out of coconut flour, that could work too. Um, I know in the UK they can't get graham crackers, so there are some uh, digestive biscuits, which are cookies. That could work. You just want, it, you, you don't want anything of a, like, it, does, it just serves the purpose of giving it, holding it together. Because if not, you're going to get butter and peanut butter. And sugar, you're gonna get like goo, so it just gives it some substance. So if if coconut flour will do that, you then uh, try it, and then you roll them into balls, and then you form them into balls, and then roll them into your toppings, and then refrigerate them so they set up, and you're done. Coconut flour sucks. 
gets the moisture out of everything. Yeah, try it. Try it. Also, I'm exhausted. I'm going to crash for tonight. <laughs> yeah. You and me both play Miko. But yes, uh, this is a recipe that I learned or helped make when I was like four, four or five. So it's good for kids. It's a no-bake. It's a no-bake. Speaking of um, desserts and stuff, maybe in about an hour... In an hour, we might try a different dessert. We might try a different one. And if you know me and my sense of humor, you might want to stick around for the other dessert. A surprise in a DM. Oh, no. Oh, I'm scared. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. It's all working with me. Wait a minute. Headed back to diet territory, so paleo treats. Yes, if you can do, find substitutes that are uh, that uh, that are diet restrictive. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me let me read this. Does someone? Wait a minute. Ship. Ship. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. Uh, hold. Hold up. Hold up. Um. Uh, can I share this? Can this be shared? I'm assuming it can be shared. So everybody knows, everybody knows that I am part of TCC, the Crafty Collective. Um, everyone wants to see. No, no, no. There's no undies. Um, so she has been working some something on for the uh, the Crafty Collective website, and uh, thank you for the check in, Witchy. Um, and it's going to be uh, a page, a streamer of the day. So each day, uh, different. Um, a new feature, yes, a new feature on the website, and they're gonna um, showcase a specific streamer. And Ship said, since it's my 1K follower celebration, that it should be fitting for um, for me to be a featured um, streamer. And that link will take you to this page. And look, there's even a player that you can play one of my clips. And you can load a new clip. I'm not going to play this. Because you've heard enough of me. But if you load a new clip, let's see how this works. So there's a new uh, a new clip. That's really cool. I really like that. I really, really like this idea. Um, for the uh, every day is a new streamer. I like it. Thank you. Thank you, uh... Yeah, you didn't have to dedicate today to me, but uh, that's a really cool idea. That is super, super cool. I've got tabs. You don't want to see my browsers. There are tabs everywhere. I can't find anything. I can't see what's going on. Um, hey, welcome in, Pocket Roddy. Uh, there's also Supporters Creative of the Week. Oh, I did not know that. That is really cool. I, I love this idea. I love it that we're that you're showcasing or spotlighting um, certain people, me certain members of the community. Oh, really, really fun on the supporters page. Nice, 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 nice. So uh, yes, go and uh, take a look at that. Even if you are not a TCC member. Um, there are supporters, there are creatives, and there are streamers. Um, anybody can go there. Anybody can check in. So uh, go and take a look at it. It is a great, great community. As I just take all of my stitches off of my needle. Great community, but I'm not a great knitter. Uh, but tomorrow, tune in to find out. There's other things in the works. There's always something... Uh, cooking over there. Uh, 
You've been lurking for a bit. Well, thank you. Thank you for the lurk. And how are you? Check daily. Yes, check daily. So it's the craftycollective.ca. That's right. I should know this by now. Yes, the craftycollective.ca is the uh, is the website. And uh, that is, you can also go there and check for anybody who is live, any streamers that are live, and you can go and uh, click on the, the thing and it will pull up their streams you can give them a lurk you can hang out in their stream and interact uh, and uh so it is a a great I, I check it daily i check it daily especially to see who is on so when i get up and i'm function my brain is working i uh um um go over there and see who is streaming and I go and click on them. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna pull you up. Pull. And I might lurk for a while until I fully wake up, and then I can interact. Maybe somebody recently sent me a video. Yes, I think it was you, Fairy Dust. Was it you who uh, sent it to me? I need to watch it and uh, and figure that out. Youngest ate all the chia seeds today. I'm gonna try and spread a few on stream, but no, the bottom of pit <laughs> strikes again. Um. Who did you, Witchy, who did you raid into the other day and you mentioned that you said you felt I was lurking in, in your stream and you said that you feel like you're cooking like in a mess hall. You spend all this time to cook and then in minutes it's gone because you've got a house full of hungry people. Uh, yes, do you lurk in many streams because of the website? Yes. That, that was what I was trying to say. Supreme put it better, put it a lot better than I did. Yes, it was you, Fairy Dust, for, the, uh, for Drop Stitches. I need to go and check it out and watch the video. It's been been a little hectic the past couple days prepping for everything. and So, uh... And I'm keeping an eye on this yarn. I'm gonna do this for a little bit, and then we're gonna go and zap it in the microwave again. And then let it cool. And uh, I'm gonna rinse it. Can't remember who I rated, but that's what I made. Pay spaghetti. Ah, uh, yeah. I think it was last night. At least your kids aren't picky. That's good. That's good if they are not picky. You could put in a couple hot pots for me. <laughs> um, shit. I don't have any today. But Grammy makes homemade chicken. Hot Pocket things with a crescent roll dough. They're much better than the Hot Pocket brands, like the store-bought stuff. They're really, really good. No, I can't ship you any of them when we send a care package to you because, yeah, no, it's that's it's going to rot. You don't want funky chicken. <laughs> funky chicken, do the funky chicken. Um, you don't want funky, funky chicken. That would call, no, it would not be good. So, don't even ask. Okay. Uh, let me check something. Let me f check. Okay. Uh, eight minutes, we're going to have an ad. When we go to that ad break, I'm going to take a... A bio break. And uh, I think that's when I'm going to go and uh, microwave the yarn. And uh, when we get back, when we get back from that break, we might do another giveaway. I know I'm doing them a little more frequently than every hour. But uh, I know later on tonight, later on tonight, Granny Karen Kicks Marina will be here. So if you have never met Granny Karen Cakes, you want to stick around. Um, and uh, I'm not exactly certain what time she will be ready. Um, I think that's what I'll do when I'm on break. I'm going to go and message her and, uh, and see when she is uh, prepared. She's probably eating dinner right now. 
and then maybe after after her, her meal she'll uh, she'll make an appearance and I'm not certain exactly what she has planned I know it's gonna be probably something um, vintagey and uh, lacy No, not that type of meat ship. She probably won't know how to do giveaways. Yeah. Okay. She... Let me give you, let me fill you in on Granny Karen. So, uh, she, this is not this past spring, but the spring before. Um, I was doing a Granny Square week where I would teach different Granny Squares. Well, my first first day, first day was fine. I think the second and third day, I could not get into my channel. I was locked out. Like, what the heck is going on? Couldn't even reset the password. But I was able to watch it. And I'm like, who is this old lady on my stream? Well, got my channel back. And then months later, somehow, I, got in con I was able to get in contact with her through her grandson. Her grandson's name is Al Paca, and uh, he hacked my channel to get his grandfather to uh, crochet on my channel. She knows nothing about the internet. Um, so I talked to her. She basically yelled at him for what he did. And um, I ended up forgiving her because it was not her fault. And then I asked her if she would like to be a guest on my stream. So uh, she's been a semi-regular guest. And uh, she does uh, vintage crochet. And she thinks that Twitch is my TV station. She thinks I own, own a TV station. And she thinks she's a celebrity. That she that that people all over the all over the world watch her on TV. And uh, she doesn't know how, she she barely knows how to like switch uh, a few things. But uh, that is that is the story behind Granny Karen. How she became on my stream. Um, thank you for the. Catherine. Hey there, Wild. Welcome in. Uh, thank you. Thank you very, very much. I saw, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I saw, uh, the card that everybody signed. I appreciate you. How are you doing, Wild? You love old people? Yeah. So, uh, she thinks she's a celebrity because she can be on the, on the TV. But she's she was away for the summer. She was visiting her daughter and uh, and her grandson. So she is back now, and uh, um, she'll make an appearance. And since she's back, she's going to be a more regular guest, a regular guest on the stream. So you'll see her more frequently. Okay, got done your. My lawn cut of the year. Ooh. Don't, don't talk to Fairy Dust about mowing the grass. Fairy Dust hates mowing the grass. Okay. I think we're going to run an ad... I think we're going to do our bio break right now. Um, uh, that's where I messed up. No, I thought that was where I messed up the stitch. Let me do a couple more stitches because that's a, oh, that's very, that's a tight stitch. I need to practice with my tension. I need to practice more. I'm getting there. I'm getting, getting much, much better. Getting, getting there. Uh, 
hate to hate mowing. Wouldn't mind it if it didn't make make you sweat. Yeah, I don't like sweating either. Ugh, it's the worst. It's difficult. We survived. And so jinx you were doing. Um, so again, practice piece. I'm 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 getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of the knitting. And if this was uh, this is cotton. But I could do the same thing. I could knit, knit up something and dye it. So it's the same type of thing, like the uh, the crocheted sample piece the swatch that I did. You can uh, you can do the same thing with the knitting. All right, we're gonna run an ad, and I'm gonna take a bio break. And when we get back, like I said, we're gonna do the. Um, the next giveaway so you could win another um actually we're gonna we're gonna do it now um wait snooze we're gonna snooze that for right now uh, we're gonna do the giveaway right now. we're gonna start the drawing now let me refresh and let's do this Let's do the thing. All right. Grab what random. A blue one. A blue. A blue square. So if you want to win this square, in chat, in chat, type in donkey square. So um, you have all during the break to enter that in. Let me uh, mark this. And if you've already won, if you've already won, you can win again. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. Uh, where are my safety pins? So, uh, I'm gonna mark this. This is square number nine. So we've already given away eight. We're now gonna give away number nine. And uh, we'll be back. We'll be back after this, uh, this quick break.
So, welcome back, everybody. Um, okay, welcome back. Uh, the drawing, the uh, giveaway is still going on. So, if you put in Donkey Square into the chat, you can win this blue one. So, uh, last chance for this one. And we've got, what, three more? There'll be three more after after our donkey. So, uh, everybody get your uh, your entries in. Let me catch up with chat. Uh, everybody doing the donkey square. Getting up is not easy. Uh, getting up early is rough when I'm used to staying up. So, like, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that is not, not easy to uh, change your whole... Uh, your sleep cycle. Um, uh, what's the three other colors? So, uh, do you you kind of want to color coordinate there? Just a curious. After doing the coding, after all this, it messed up. Oh no! Oh no! No no! So this is for the one we're doing now. The next one is like a burgundy. Um, kind of like a steely, seafoamy green, and a really dark, it's not a navy, but it's like a, like a, a cadet blue. So those are going to be the, the last three. But for this one, it's this little blue one, um, is next. So if we have all of the entries, um, I'm going to, I'm going to click the button and we're going to see who wins. Let me get the pen. So this is um donkey number nine not love potion number nine donkey number nine all right last chance here we go we're gonna uh click it good luck everybody shipwreck oh great all right so uh oh sorry Catherine. i am so sorry i'm sorry Catherine. Um, there'll be, there'll be three other ones, Catherine. Um, save, save on shipping, yes. But yeah, they're, Claim Eco wants to give a, uh, care package to, uh, to ship and, um, Supreme anyway. So, uh, now they're going to have, mat they have matching hamsters, and now they're going to have matching asses. <laughs> um... Yes, there will be three more. We have three more to, chances to win. Three more. Now, if you want to put them on your underwear, that is between you and Supreme. I don't need to see it. I don't need to... No, no, we do not need ass undies. We do not need ass undies. Uh, how to win. Um, the next time... Uh, the next time that we we do we'll do another drawing when we get to it, um, they'll be in the give in the chat. You're gonna type in uh, Donkey Square one word, and then app that's after I I start it, and then um, Nightbot will pick the uh, pick the winner. Say one of those is Cadet. Yeah, one's more of a Cadet Blue. I will win, and then you can model that. Hmm. So yeah, this is more of a cadet blue. So it's it's not a navy, but uh, and it's not it's not a it's definitely not royal. So I would consider this more of a cadet blue. Thinking of using the pattern and making some of the other yes, an animal. Oh, that would be cute. That would be cute. Again, um, you know, let me check. Let me check to see, and I should have this ready. I should have had this all ready. Did I post it? I did not. We're going to go and take a look because I know I have the link still. Um. Where did, where did it open at? Where did it open? 
Oh, it opened here. Wait, where did it open? Oh, it's right here in front of my face. Um, okay. So, if anybody wants the pattern, it's at that website. I should have had that ready. Um, so you can, um, in that, from that link, there, are, it's a base, the base pattern. It's a circle and you turn it into, um, the square and then you can change up whatever color you use and the facial pot parts, there's different animals. There's like, I don't know, over a dozen, over a dozen animals. So there, there's a donkey, there's a cow, there's a chicken, there's a pig, there's a whole bunch of them. And you can make a blanket, you can make a scarf, you can make different uh, different things out of it. Um, thinking of using the pattern, yeah. Uh, should be making crow chat? No, we're not doing crow chaps. Got it on early, so I had a better chance to get one. Yes, yes, you did. I think you won the first one. Um, actually, I have all the names. Yes, Gary won the very first one. And I, we've marked them. We've marked them, so put a little tag knowing which one is is which. So we're not going to play any uh, any any switcheroos. Uh, you never heard of that blue? Yeah, it's like a military blue um oh my friend she had to go home she went home to uh her husband and her daughter her daughter was asking where's mommy so uh she had been here since uh eight o'clock this morning so she left about not quite an hour ago um what was i gonna do i don't want to crochet because the um the pattern the pattern was a little too much. You know what? We're going to Tunisian. Do you want a Tunisian? We're going to Tunisian. Um, so exclamation point pattern. If you want this, uh, this pattern, it is just a simple Tunisian stitch. It's a simple, simple Tunisian stitch. And it is going to be making um, a dishcloth. So I'm going to use some cotton yarn. Where did I put my cotton yarn? Uh, you know what? We'll use some yellow. And let me find a, an appropriate hook. That'll work. Um, so we're going to mix it up. I haven't done Tunisian yet today. And I know um, somebody had asked. So, uh, if you're new to Tunisian, it uses a special hook, just a really long crochet hook. And uh, it's kind of a mixture of, <coughs> excuse me, a mixture of crochet and knitting. All right, let's see here. Chain 26 to start. Uh, we don't talk about that. We're not talking about the temperature blanket. I, I can't... I won't be able to get it on, on, on stream. You won't be able to see anything. Because uh, it's, it's massive. Uh, excellent for the ship stitch. No, no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, I did use this for ship stitch. Temper. Yeah, the heart. I only have 12 rows to do. <laughs> and this is temperature blanket for the temperatures of 2023. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 
Uh, bring him to Finland and that will be finished. Badumtis. Uh 2018 temperature stored somewhere in an old phone. Uh, I got to March before I stopped, but the temperature said, yeah, yeah. So that's how my uh, my channel started. So I started my channel in December of 2022. And I need I was like, what am I gonna do for content? What am I gonna do? I need something full content. So like I know a temperature blanket all year round. So I had a dedicated Sundays to temperature blanket, and that is what we did. And then it got to a point, it got too hot, I had to put it away, and then I picked it back up. And then the holidays, and I was making this and that, and so it uh it's on the back burner. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, insert into the skin hook. Okay. Great, now the blanket is missing. Yes, the blanket, it, it, it missed. It missed two summers. <laughs> okay. So, I've never, I don't think I've taught or showed how to do Tunisian. So, I've got my, my chain. And then I'm going to go into the second chain. Pull up a loop. This cotton yarn is splitty. Pull up a loop, go into the next chain. Pull up a loop. Go to the next chain. Pull up a loop. We're going to be doing that all the way. So you're going to have a lot of loops on your hook. And this is the, uh, um, the forward pass. So each row is made up of a forward pass and a return pass. I don't like this yarn. I don't have any uh, cotton yarn that doesn't really split that I would want to do this with. Oh, I talked to uh, um, Granny Karen's nephew. I sent them a text message when I went on my quick little break. And uh, so it's, what, almost 6 o'clock? So it's 7 o'clock, so about an hour and 10 minutes. Granny Karen will be here. So if you can hold off, hold this around for about another hour. And uh, if you want to meet her. Let's see. Uh, after we're here, <laughs> yes, you will finally meet her. I don't think it's been a year. It had been a while. I remember the last time she was on. I can't remember. Um, it was probably back in the spring. It was most likely early spring. I think it was the last time she was around. And, uh, again, I, I'm not certain what she'll be doing, but it'll probably be something vintage -y. Okay, so I got all my loops on my hook. So the return pass is I'm going to chain one, chain one, and then we're gonna yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And you're gonna do that all the way back. So this is also called an Afghan hook. I'm not certain why. Maybe, I mean, you can make Afghans or blankets with a regular hook. but And I don't know why it's called Tunisian. I don't think it's from Tunisia. I think there's other names for it. I think at one time, like in 
according to the YouTube archives. <laughs> oh, we got a little, uh, a little internet sleuth. <laughs> I know about that. I'm an internet sleuth myself. So yeah, it's been, it's been a while since she's been around. But, uh, Tunisian crochet, I think I've heard that in like the 1800s, it was known as princess crochet. Because I think one of the princesses or of some royal family, maybe the U of the UK, or somebody did it, and I have I've heard that Queen Victoria did Tunisian. She did a lot of um, fiber arts, so that's what I've heard. I never knew her, <laughs> never met the woman. So that is one row of Tunisian. So for row two, I gotta remember the chain. Uh, any anyway, anyway, anyway. Um skip the first article bar. Okay. So now we're gonna skip our first edge here, and we're gonna go in through the vertical bar and pull up a loop. Yeah. It won't chain. So we're going to go in and pull up these loops. Yeah, thank you for sharing, Ship. Thank you very much. But uh, after, let me see, okay, so that's going to be seven to eight. Okay. Hammer time. Um, okay, so we're at six now. So in an hour, be Granny Karen. She's probably going to be on for an hour. So, so, okay, okay, that's perfect. Perfect. This is perfect timing. So, uh, she'll be on about in an hour, and then after she's done, uh, I'll be back, and, uh, we're gonna play a game. So, if you were around for the last hour, maybe it might go longer, we might do a little more than 12 hours. Um, there's a, uh, game that everybody can, um, help me with in the chat and it might be kind of cheating because everybody's around the world and there might be let me see here and uh, to one bar and work final stitch wait to one bar. let me see let me count this two three four five six seven eight and look at twelve there Five. No, I have to go into the end here. I have to go into the end. So, uh, it might be cheating because everybody is all across the world and it could be helpful for me. So, it's a geography type game and, uh, we're going to see what we can do. We can, uh, so that will be the end of the stream. Um, oh, I gotta, I gotta check on my yarn, and I still have more yarn that hasn't been dyed yet. It's a new language, a song that speaks of struggle, that speaks of time. Um. So we didn't get to all the dyeing the yarn, but that's fine. There will be more. Um, more yarn dyeing in the future. Maybe I'll just pick a random day, random stream, where we go. Let's dye some yarn, and then I'll have to come up with something to use for the, for this yarn. I don't know what you can. I'm gonna find a small project that uses 50 grams of yarn. So, let's see. All right. 
So we got to do this for 25 rows. So this is the Tunisian simple stitch. So going in, picking up a loop through the bar, one after another. And I don't have to count with this. Once I get a few rows done, you'll be able to see what it will look like. It's going to look kind of like the thing right above my head. So it does have a little bit of a texture to it, which I actually kind of like that. like it better for a, uh, for a dishcloth. go into let me go into there I'm going to go in um uh, using wait are you going to using your shibiscuits <laughs> no we're not doing anything with the schnibbles tonight we're not we're not playing with the schnibbles tonight yeah let me go and check this uh yarn and we'll see what the, what the temperature is. It should have cooled off by now. Oh no, it's still hot. Well, warm. So I took it out of the microwave. It's now going to cool off. Yarn for, uh, from the yarn you dyed, you could possibly make an infinity scarf. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Possibly. I'm getting, oh, I'm getting, oh, I'm getting ideas. I am getting ideas. But yeah, the yarn right now is, uh, is cooling. And it looks, well, it's still in the water, so it definitely looks blue. There's a lot more blue to it. Hope I didn't put too much blue. And uh, change the green. It's all an experiment. We gotta frog it out. I slipped a. I missed a stitch. I missed it. Think that was a hint? <laughs> Possibly. Again, if if there's enough to do an infinity scarf. I'm not certain because it's 50 grams, so it's half of a of a standard hank. Because a lot of them come in 100 gram. And what I could do is do another hank in a coordinating colors, uh, giving it to a family member. Some ideas. I'm gonna have to, uh, and I will remember. I gotta have to put aside Clay Miko's yarn that she dyed, so she can do whatever she wants with hers. And then, uh, uh, hey there, Jams. Welcome in. How are you? We're doing a little bit of everything today. We're doing some uh, Tunisian crochet right now. Um, 
what have what have we done? We've done a little bit of regular fillet crochet. We did some knitting. We did um, some non-cooking cooking stuff. Oh, I didn't ever did that. Okay. We're gonna do an. Uh, yeah, we got. We have to do the next. We do have to do the next goody thing. Yeah, and I got to do that before 7 o'clock. Okay. I completely forgot about that. So, uh, we're going to have another snack thing. Because we made a peanut we made peanut butter munchies earlier. We're now going to... I got I have to go downstairs to get some of the supplies. Um, yes. F for whatever reason, I've, I thought of that. Well, I was naming off the things, but we dyed yarn. We're still in the process of dyeing yarn. Um, and we've been doing giveaways. We've been doing Donkey Square giveaways. Okay, let's... I need to move... No, I've done enough yarn, then dye just more. With the same dye light. Yeah, yeah, I can do coordinating colors. Okay, we're going to put that to the side. I have to go and get some things. Let me see how we're going to do this. Okay. One, seven, one, eight. Right. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Okay. Got it. Brain is working. Brain is working. Um, give me one moment. Give me one moment. All right, all right, we're back. So, um, set that there. Set that there. I need this. I need this. Okay. Where's the thing? Okay, we're gonna make something called Kitty Litter Surprise. <laughs> yes, Kitty Litter Surprise. So, <coughs> excuse me. 
So we need um, vanilla pudding, vanilla wafers, um, cake mix, like a pound cake mix, like, um, pound cake, and tootsie rolls. And this is actually a wash basin. Uh, I cringe at my dickled eggs, you making kitty poo, yes. Um, you can use a cat litter, a brand new kitty litter pan. We went to the dollar store and they didn't have any, but they had these wash basins. So it's essentially the same thing. And you need a litter scoop. You can do the ones without the holes and you sift it or you can have, yeah. So, uh, um, <laughs> first off, first off, let's move you away. Um, I don't have proportions and we know how well that worked with the, um, peanut butter munchies. We're gonna, we're gonna sit here. So, got some vanilla wafers, and again, you can use um, other types of cookies if you can't get vanilla wafers. So they are, if you've ever made banana pudding, that's what you use. Seeing this is our thing, people will get super creative making weird dishes like these. It's like dirt. It's like dirt cups. It's like you get a brand new ceramic flower pot, and you make a chocolate pudding um cake mix mixture you make the cake you crumble it up mix it loosely mix it together and then yeah you add the oreo and you can use oreos too yes oreos off that and gummy worms you can put a fake flower in it it's the same type of thing but a vanilla version and a little more gross and um yes no yeah no don't use a used kitty kitty pan don't use a use a used kitty litter pan. So I'm gonna put in some uh, vanilla wafers. I'm eyeballing it. And just like we did the graham crackers, we're crushing them up. I will have the uh, actual recipes um, in the Discord. These are the best sorts of things. Take potlucks, yes, to freak people out. <laughs> Depending on the people. Well, you could also um, use um, some green. Additionally, I added this. I have flake coconut here. We're going to add some flake coconut for a little bit, not much. Or you can use other things. And I'll show that in a second. Church bake sales and dinner. Yes. Yes. So uh, the story behind this originally, years ago, I'm probably going to need more than this, but years ago, Crojo and I um, were making, uh, made dinner for Grammy ETC. I think we had some type of a Italian thing. Got done dinner and we told her, go sit down and we're going to do dessert. So once dessert, we got her ready, we brought her back in and we said, happy birthday. And she saw, she thought she was getting strawberry shortcake or cheesecake or something. And it was a little pan with this in it. Uh, I'm going to need more than this. I'm going to need definitely more than that. You know what? We're doing the entire, the entire bag. Doing the entire bag. And the surprise is, it's in a kitty pan. Kitty litter pan. But yeah, Grammy uh, was definitely surprised. She was not expecting this dessert. 
<laughs> and I have my pudding and the pound cake have been in the refrigerator. So, uh, this is the part. This recipe uses the microwave a little bit. We'll get to that part um, later on. And this doesn't have to be super, um, what do you call it, crushed up. It doesn't have to be too fine. Yeah, I completely forgot about this because I'm like, okay, time's running out. Because I'm like, okay, Granny Karen's going to be from 7 to 8. And then I've got the last hour, so I'm like, when am I going to do this? So I know a bunch of you have cats. I know, like, Jams has cats. Don't use their litter, bat, litter pan. <laughs> okay. That was an entire box of vanilla wafers that have been crushed up. Some coarser than others. It's fine. Again, this is a higher-sided bin than a normal um, kitty litter pan should be. So, um, proportion volume for this is going to be a little off. I was instructed, uh, she was cooking cheesecake instead of kitty litter. Served it. Yes, yes, we started it with a scoop. Instructed to not open the fridge when I got home. 100% certain getting strawberry shortcake or cheese. Yes. Yep, she was surprised. She was very, very much surprised. All right, gonna make this Thanksgiving. Yes, so um, you could do just that and the pudding, but um, I'm gonna get. I got an Entenmann's pound cake. Um, oh yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, oh wait a minute. Okay, wait. We're gonna reset everything. Is that better? Okay, they're a little off. Um, hey there, Tatter. Welcome in. Thank you. Thank you. You've tuned in just in time for uh, to learn how to make kitty litter surprise tatter. You have a cat also. Uh, hey there, Aranita. Welcome in. Um, so I have... Um, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? Um, crushed up a box of vanilla wafers. Oh, thank you, Aranita. That's great. I look forward to never making this. Oh, Tatter. Um, everybody, okay, anybody who signed the card. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Aranita and Judge Secure. I think, yeah, I think everybody has signed the card. Um, Tatter, your rewriting of my donkey song is oh, perfect. Perfect. Uh, left is clear. Yeah, I don't know. I, I it's the lighting because there's a light on either side of the left camera. There's one on the uh, to the to one side of this camera, but it's a little bit far, farther away. Yeah, I can't do anything about that right now. Um, but yes, thank you, thank you very much. Never make the gross foods for you, Tatter. Oh yes, Witchy Weaver is making deckled eggs tonight. <laughs> it is the night. For, we, we made peanut butter munchies earlier. Now, Tatter, if you like peanut butter, you might like these. We made these earlier today. They are um, um, peanut butter, butter, graham cracker, crumbs, and powdered sugar formed into a ball, and then rolled in either coconut or uh, chopped nuts or any other types of um, toppings. So, uh, and these are amazing. Let me have one. This is from earlier. Hmm. Hmm. No bake. No bake. I learned how to, I helped make these when I was like four or five. And in fact, I'm talking with my mouth full. I'm sorry. In fact, high school speech class, we had to give a demonstra demonstration speech. 
and I went to high school when you can bring peanut butter and peanuts to into school. I made these. I was popular that day. I was very popular. All right. So I just have a pound cake here. And I'm just going to crumble it up. I'm not going to be really picky about this. I mean, if you wanted, you can crumble it up even more. If it's a little coarse, that's fine too. Uh, we need the feet loaf. Yeah, the feet loaf. Crojo, uh, have you, you've probably heard of feet loaf. Crojo likes some of that weird stuff. Um, Witchy Weaver on stream uh, another week made feet loaf. So it's a meatloaf with the feet, and there was onions. There was the toenails. I think Cro um, Crojo has seen stuff like that before. Crojo has made uh, and Fergers. I don't know what Fergers are. Crojo has made for Halloween. I've seen pictures. Now what? Okay, it's dirty Q-tips. Dirty Q-tips. They are. You get like a um a like a like a um like a stick like a popsicle or a cake pop stick, and it's a marshmallow on one end dipped in peanut butter or car no caramel. Yeah, I think she's made those before. So that's when we have cats and drop the patty on the floor, but execute the five second roll. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. The, my cake should have been crumbled up a little bit more than this, but it's fine. I'm, I'm going to have coarse kitty litter. Coarse kitty litter. The high absorbency type. I hope my proportions are right. I'm not measuring anything with this. I'm going with it. Oh, have you made the feet loaf before? Yes, Witchy Weaver did that on stream. Vanilla wafers and our um, pound cake. I'm just gonna mix it together. Uh, the weirder the yes, yes. Crojo's all about the weird food. Okay. Now we're gonna get vanilla pudding. I tried to find like the cozy shack. When I went to the store, they didn't have vanilla. They had the other flavors. They didn't have vanilla. I'm like... So, I got a thing of Swiss Miss. A bunch of little individual packs. Your spirit animal. Bandy cookie. Yes, yes, you, yes. Weren't they like graham crackers? You know, you can break them into, like, the thin, narrow things. And what was on them? I don't remember what you would put on them. How? Why can't I break open? It doesn't matter. Where is... Oh. I'm trying to open vanilla pudding. I probably don't have enough pudding. I probably don't have enough pudding. This is the story of my... I, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm not a, a cooking streamer. Because... <laughs> I think I'm going to be a little on the dry side. And I don't have any extra to add. Um, why am I... Because that's all I could find. <laughs> that's all I could... I was not making any. I was not making my own instant pudding. I was not making, like... Cookies hard some days. <laughs> So, uh, that's what I got. That's what I got. If it's a fail, it's a fail. You'll get the idea. You'll get the idea of what I'm going for. <laughs> Tune into Crafty Cub and he's making a little mess on his desk. <laughs> if you would have told me that I'm going to be playing with pudding on stream <laughs> at my desk, I would have thought you were insane. <laughs> this is what you get when I get a thousand followers. <laughs> You're welcome. 
You're very welcome. <laughs> yeah, I like I said, I wanted like a big container of pudding and uh they didn't have that flavor. They had chocolate and they had it's something else. They had caramel something. They had tapioca. Which tapioca would work. I don't like I don't like tapioca pudding. I should have had it already prepared open. My dad used to call tapioca zit puss, zit puss pudding, yes. Yes! Small smear of marshmallow fluff and a dab of smear of red gel icing on a graham cracker strip. Yes, that's a dirty band aid. <laughs> zit puss, <laughs> yes! Oh, here we go. Here we go. If you mention, okay. If you mention any of that, uh, this is not a. This is not, that's not topic for a, a, a food segment. Um, <laughs> yeah. Crojo is fascinated by that. Oh, okay. Shirt was dirty anyway. We're at the end of stream and we got something on my shirt. <laughs> okay. We're going to mix this together. Actually, this might work. This might be enough pudding. This, this, this can do it. Uh, it is when you're making kitty poo dessert. Yes. So I'm just going to mix this together. It's not exactly, it's not exactly the color of kitty litter. I mean, well, kitty litter, it's been a while since we've had a cat. And kitty litter is more of a gray color. And I don't know but how about getting or making gray frosting, not frosting, pudding, or, um, this looks disgusting. <laughs> um, I don't know how to make gray cake. <laughs> crushed, yeah, crushed Oreos would work, yeah. Okay, so, th okay, this is not going to have the right effect to it. Not the right effect, but I have it here on hand. I, I don't have any Oreos. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put that to the side. So, i got a little cup here. And um, I'm the one eating this, so my hands are clean. So, I'm going to put a little bit of coconut. A little bit of coconut. And I'm going to use, oh, I'm going to use this. Now you're really, yes, I am a dirty hook. So, I'm going to get some green food coloring. And only a drop. So, well, two drops. So now we're going to mix this all around. And you know how kitty litter has those green and bluish little bits in it? Whatever, those, whatever it does, I don't know what it does to kitty litter. I don't know if it's a deodorizer or what it is. But yes, you can easily dye coconut. This that's a good tip if you um um if you're making like coconut cake, especially in the springtime, if you want to mix grass um to get real fancy, you can do that. Uh beautiful color and mix the colors, the Easter eggs came up black. No, we're not we're not having well, we pro actually we no. I am not. I'm not gonna. No, no. We're not. We're not going that far. So we got a, our coconut, and then we're gonna sprinkle it all around. <laughs> this looks really nasty. <laughs> all right. So we're just gonna spread this around. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> uh. So. The I, you get the idea, <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, color Easter eggs during. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, last year for Halloween, made doubled eggs that look like alien eggs and eyeball cookies. Nice. Nice. So, um, if it's green, it's fine. I do not like Tootsie Rolls. Um, the crystals absorb the pee. Yummy! <laughs> I don't like Tootsie Rolls. But, Tootsie Rolls are key to this. Are very key to this. I'm only going to need a few. I'm only going to need a few. And, uh, yeah, it's the texture. It's the texture. It, it's chewy. It is. But, you put a couple Tootsie Rolls. You can't have them. Yeah. Ugh. Yes. Right. We're, we're coconut. We're co well, we're, we're Diet Coke fans and not fans of the Tootsie Rolls. Even the uh, fruit ones. I don't like chewy candy. No. And let's see. I can keep an eye on time. We got a half hour. So we're going to. Uh, those made me green to represent cat vomit. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in the microwave for a short amount of time and then to soften them. Yeah, the tootsie, only part, only good part of tootsie, roll, tootsie Pops are the candy part. So I'm now manipulating. <laughs> you tune into the crap. <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. I am so sorry that you're raiding at the this time. I'm glad that you're rating. I'm glad that you're rating me, but uh, you have chosen the time to raid into my channel where I am playing where I'm playing <laughs> where I am making a dessert. <laughs> so we've put <laughs> We've put the softened Tootsie Rolls into our uh, our creation. Um, how was your stream, Cricket? <laughs> what were you doing? I want to know everything. Um, Ship, we get a clip shout out for Lady Cricket Bug, if you don't mind. Um, sorry. That. <laughs> uh, well, Lady B, yes. Lady B works too. But if we can get one for um, Lady Cricket Bug. All the ladies. Um, but it was good. You were playing Ark. Nice. You get confused with lady. Yes, all the ladies. Yeah, sir. Oh, it's Odin. Calm down, sir. Calm down. Calm down, sir. Calm down, sir. Do not try to eat me. 
I'm your friend, not food. Yes, he is very mad. He did. He, he is mad at me. Um, let's see. Let me catch up with chat. So, uh, let's see who, um, perfect timing. Okay. Uh, welcome in. Uh, it's where she bullied him. Oh, no. Yes. Um, the cricket bug has a chameleon and a leopard gecko. The gecko is Juliet and the chameleon is Odin. Right? Right? I think I got it right. But uh, Lady Cricket Bug do does all different things. She uh, does amazing eating work. Uh, she did some uh, um, wine glasses. The stems are wrapped uh, with beads, um, painting. Um, and you're making you make stitch markers. You make jewelry. I can't remember. There's a lot of things. She did. The one thing I that vividly stands out was during the last raid train. That we had, um, Lady Cricket Bug was painting with um, tea and coffee, so kind of like dyeing yarn with using household things. She was painting with uh, tea and coffee. But welcome in. You were playing Arc Ascended. Nice. Um, if you're new here, that came in on the raid. I am the Crafty Cub, fiber artist. Normally we do fiber arts. We were doing it earlier. We will get back to it at some point. Um, but we are celebrating my 1,000 follower, um, 1,000 followers here on Twitch. Um, I've been going on. We're almost at 10 hours, <laughs> and I, actually, I'm not sleepy. I'm not tired, and I've been up a long time. Um, we're also the home of the Proud Dirty Hookers, and, uh, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna snooze, we're gonna snooze the ad. Um, so, uh, we don't wash our hooks here, but if you wash your crochet hooks, um, that's all right. I teach crochet, I do, uh, needle padding, needlepoint, cross stitch, I'm getting into knitting, um, a few other, other things. We were dyeing yarn on and off today. We were making some yummy treats. Earlier we made peanut butter munchies, which are uh, these yummy peanut butter. And Cricket, you were in here, I think, when we were talking about this. So those are no-bake, uh, really easy to do. And we are now doing, we have finished, when you rate it in, we are making Kitty Litter Surprise. So <laughs> this is crushed up um, crushed up vanilla wafers Crumbled up pound cake, vanilla pudding, a little bit of green uh, co coconut that shredded co uh, coconut that has been dyed green. And when you came in, I was adding turds. They're softened, melted to tootsie rolls. And uh, so we're we're ready to serve. We're ready to serve. And you serve it in a br you in a brand new kitty litter pan. This is not a kitty litter pan, but it's what the dollar store had. I wasn't going to go and buy a, a expensive kitty litter pan and a scoop. So you can use this scoop. You can use the ones with the holes in it. Um, and uh, you've done this. It's kind of like dirt cups. It's the vanilla version of dirt cups. So dirt cups is chocolate pudding, chocolate cake, Oreos, that type of thing in a um, terracotta flower pot. All right, now I'm gonna try to get a part that does not have the turd because I don't like Tootsie Rolls. Not because it looks like a turd. <laughs> How many times can I say turd? So this is a big scoop. I don't want a serving this big. So this is nasty. This is some disgusting stuff. <laughs> so, uh, bon appetit. <laughs> so, uh, Tastes really good. It tastes really, really good. So, okay, I don't want to eat on camera. That's kind of rude, but I was doing it anyway. Um, who suggested this? I suggested this. <laughs> um, this was uh something that. 
Crowjo and myself did for Grammy ETC years ago, many years ago, for her birthday. Can you lick the bowl? Yeah, if you want to lick a litter pan, <laughs> go right on ahead. Um, I'm going to put this to the side. <laughs> and I will, um, I know what we're going to do. Wait, 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 seven. My brain is thinking. Oh, Lady Crickabug, if you need to rate and run and do after stream stuff, go right ahead. You, I don't want to keep you because um, I know it's later where you are. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Where's my, where's my timer? Where's my timer? There we go. Sing along with me. Uh, wait. Let me see if I can find it. Give me a second. All right. Dang it. I was saving it for Grammy. Wait. Saving what for Grammy? All right. Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not praise Cub, this is what he'll say. Cub rolls, Cub rocks, Cub made an amigurumi fox. <laughs> I did. I did make an amigurumi fox. That was Tatter's uh, <laughs> rendition of uh, um, my donkey song. Okay, I have to go and do something real quick before I forget. Um, okay. Let's see. I can't see chat at the moment. Let me do that. All right. Uh, but thank you, Tatter. <laughs> okay. So I have turned off um donkey song duck and fryer schmuck um because because we're gonna um we've got a few things we need to do um we're gonna do a, a an ad break here soon i'm gonna take a little bio break before we do that before we do that we're gonna give away a um a donkey square we're going to give away a square. We've been giving them away all day. Where did my... They're right here. They're right here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to snooze it. We need to snooze it. Okay. Let's do the thing. I'm doing all the things. All right. So we're going to grab one at random. The red one. So if you want to win this, if you want to win this square, let me uh, reset things. Let's do the thing. Uh, copy this. Um, you want the disc cost pattern? Um, disc cost, if you do exclamation point um, pattern, you can get the disc cost pattern. All right, so right now, if you want to win this this exact square, which is square number 10, um, in the chat, in the chat, type in donkey square. We're going to do a giveaway. Come back. Why is there a litter box on your desk? We made kitty litter surprise. Uh, yes, this exact current one. This physical item here. That physical item. So, uh, we, we have given, this is number 10. We have 12 to give away. And, uh, if you've already won one, you can win, um, win more. So if you want, if you want my ass, I'm giving away ass all day today. So there's enough ass to go around for everyone. So if you want the ass, um, um, what do you mean? Um, wait a minute. The F. Oh, wait. 
Wait, the one that's currently on stream. Oh, yeah, if you want the disc cloth pattern, if you want the disc cloth pattern, Wee Weaver, exclamation point pattern, exclamation point pattern will get you the link for our dish cloth pattern. Yes. There's a Tunisian crochet pattern in that link also. So exclamation point pattern will get you that link, that pattern. Yes. Uh, and you wonder why I misbehave. <laughs> yes. Um, but yes, um, get enter in um, Donkey Square to win this square. And uh, we're going to do the drawing. I uh, just wanted to clarify. Yes, the correct one. Yes. And uh, we're going to do this drawing. And then we're going to go to an ad. And during that ad break, um, I'm going to step away. I'm going to make certain Granny Karen is ready. Um, what we're going to do for the donkey hat, when Granny Karen is done, when I come back, I'll reset the time for the donkey hat. So Granny Karen's going to be on for about an hour or so. So uh, you'll get extra time in the donkey hat. So um, everybody put in donkey square into the chat. Uh, last call, last call before we pick a name. And it is this red one. Alrighty. So um, if we are all caught up and good luck, everybody. Good luck. I'm going to give you a couple extra seconds to put in Donkey Square if you want to win my ass. Uh, all right. Here we go. We're going to hit the button. Good luck, everybody. Action. Action Act won my ass. Congratulations, Action. Anybody who's won today, I will get with you probably tomorrow or Monday for all of the information, the addresses, and everything, so I can send these off. So uh, that is uh, our 10th winner. We have two more. Two more to win. Just to keep in mind, Granny Karen will not be doing these giveaways. So uh, they're going to be this tealish one and this darker blue. So uh, those are, are what we're going to end up having. I am going to go and chat with Granny Karen to make certain she's ready. Uh, when the stream comes back from our little ad break, Grant, Granny, Granny Karen will be here and she's going to do whatever she's going to do. And then when she is done, I will return. And uh, so I will see you in about an hour or so. Um, be very, very kind to Granny Karen. She hasn't been, been on, stream, on the stream for about six months. So, um, um, be kind to her. Don't cause too much trouble. And uh, we will be back. Uh, you have high hopes for the till. Hey, there's a possibility. Possibility. All right, we're going to run an ad. We will be back um, shortly.